Hello, I'm Molly and this is Rocket Boom. When GM introduced their first large-scale industrial robot to the assembly line in 1961, a lot of people were pretty freaked out about machines taking over the world. I know I wasn't, but as time went on... and on... <laughs> people found that they were still in control, even more so than ever. Look at those new bots go! And just as we were getting used to the idea of yesterday's sci-fi novels becoming reality, we have grouped into an age where machines have their own intelligent electronics, seeking to take over the world, even literally fueled by the desire to defend the freedom to create even more robots, ultimately desiring what many humans ultimately desire, which is everything while doing nothing. Today the Italian dust bot, which seeks to clean up this mess, looks a lot like Rosie from the Jetsons, a show that is just now coming true. For example, a new mobile phone app listens to ambient noise surrounding the cell phone in order to learn about the habits of its master. Until one day, the phone takes over because it knows I'm on the set and that it should switch to vibrate mode. For instance, a new species full of interesting activity has been discovered by crossbreeding computers that track sign language from TV programs with computers that can read the subtitled text to learn sign language themselves. Or whatever selves. Can you tell if this is real? Bad singer. Crap at football. Don't ask me what I mean by asking if it's real. We must move on. Oh shoot. Clothes made from strands of fibre that can take pictures. This is just the way it is and just when you bring it all together and think you know what the future will be like. You find it's already here. Gundam over Tokyo. What will come tomorrow? That's what I want to know. You know?